Marvelous Bible lesson is taken from Genesis 31st chapter verses from 1 to 29th verse And he heard the words of Laban's sons saying Jacob hath taken away all that was our fathers and of that which was our fathers hath he gotten all this glory and Jacob beheld the countenance of laban and behold it was not toward him as before and the lord said unto jacob return unto the land of thy fathers and to thy kindred and i will be with thee and jacob sent and called rachel and leah to the field unto his flock and said unto them i see your father's countenance that it is not toward me as before but the but the god of my father hath been with me and ye know that with all my power i have served your father and your father hath deceived me and changed my wages 10 times but god suffered him not to hurt me if he said thus the speckled shall be thy wages then all the cattle bear speckled and if he said thus the ring straight shall be thy hire then bear all the cattle a ring straight thus god hath taken away the cattle of your father and given them to me and it came to pass at the time that the cattle conceived that i lifted up mine eyes and saw in a dream and behold the rams which leaped upon the cattle were ring streaked speckled and grizzled and the angel of god speak unto me in a dream saying jacob and i said here am i and he said lift up now thine eyes and see all the rams which leap upon the cattle are ring streaked speckled and grizzled for i have seen all that laban doeth unto thee i am the god of bethel where the anointedst the pillar and where the word stray wo unto me now arise get thee out from this land and return unto the land of thy kindred and rachel and leah answered and said unto him is there it any portion or inheritance for us in our father's house are we not con- counted of him strangers for he hath sold us and hath quite devoured also our money for all the riches which god hath taken from our father that is ours and our children's now then whatsoever god hath said unto thee do then jacob rose up and set his sons and his wives upon camels and he carried away all his cattle and all his goods which he had gotten 
the cattle of his getting which he had gotten in padanaram for to go to isaac his father in the land of canaan and laban went to share his sheep and rachel had stolen the images that were her father's and jacob stole away anavers to laban the syrian in that he told him not that he fled so he fled with all that he had and he rose up and passed over the river and set his face toward the mount gilead and it was told laban on the third day that jacob was fled and he took his brethren with him and pursued after him seven days journey and they overtook him in the mount gilead and god came to laban the syrian in a dream by night and said unto him take heed that thou speak not to jacob either good or bad then laban overtook Jacob now Jacob had pitched his tent in the mount and Laban with his brethren pitched in the mount of Gilead and Laban said to Jacob what hast thou done that thou hast stolen away unawares to me and carried away my daughters as captives taken with the sword wherefore didst thou flee away secretly and steal away from me and didst not tell me that i might have sent thee away with mirth and with songs with tabret and with harp and has not suffered me to kiss my sons and my daughters thou hast now done foolishly in so doing it is in the power of my hand to do you hurt but the god of your father speak unto me esther night saying the take thou heed that thou speak not to jacob either good or bad here ends the bible lesson